In this video, I'll give some options on debugging a C++ program. This program has a counter. It adds one to the counter through a loop and then displays the total on the screen. The program currently runs successfully. Common error is to forget a brace. I'm going to remove a brace and run the program again. Here it tells me that there were errors, and it asks if I would like to go back to the last time it successfully built, and I don't because I want to debug the program. It tells me I had a syntax error on line 7, but I don't have any line numbers here. To turn on line numbers, I can go to Tools, Options, and Text Editor. Or in the upper right hand corner in the quick launch bar, I can type in line numbers and turn on line numbers and choose OK. And that helps me find line 7 to narrow down where I might need the brace. Another common error is for getting a semicolon. Here it notes IntelliSense, and this is a feature of Microsoft to assist with debugging. And then here's your traditional compiler error. And it tells me line 14. Before system identifier, system, syntax error, missing the semicolon. A breakpoint is a convenient debugging tool. To set a breakpoint, move into this gray area to the left of your code and click your left mouse button to set a breakpoint. When that code is reached, it will stop. I'm going to run my program. Note the color has changed. Now I can see the value of the variables when that code has been reached. I'm going to continue going to loop through again, and I can see again the value of my variables. Then I can also step through the code instead of just running it. F11 will let me step through my code. I can also step through my code from debug. I could have also set my breakpoints here. I have three options. I can step into step into enters into procedures and functions, and it steps through every procedure and function line by line. Step over will execute procedures and functions as one unit, so it will not step through them one line at a time. Step out will become available if you step into a procedure or function, and then it will let you jump to the end of that procedure or function. So these are some debugging options to debug a C++ program.